Hey everyone, my name is Rich Rosenblatt and I'm a general dentist in the town of Lake Forest, which is about 30 miles north of the city of Chicago. And I'm really excited to be here today to talk about 3M's new chair side zirconia and to give you some tips and tricks on how to utilize it properly in your practice. So let's get into the presentation and see what this new block is all about. So zirconia is kind of a, a, you know, it's beyond a buzzword at this point because so many people are using it. When I started doing dentistry in 1997, and even before, my dad is a dentist, so uh, I worked as a dental assistant there, everybody did porcelain fused to metal crowns. PFMs were it. So we didn't have um, high strength, no metal type of materials like zirconia. So uh, when, when the labs were doing most of their restorations, that's what they were doing, porcelain fused to metal. That was that, was that or, or gold. So within the last, say, 10 years, 15 years or so, you've really started to see the rise of zirconia and metal-free restorations sort of take over the market where we are right now. So you can see here, um, there's lots of labs out there right now that were obviously doing PFMs 10 or 15 years ago. They're not even doing porcelain fused to metal crowns in their labs anymore. So here's something from the, from the lab guys, the LMT people, that just shows you that the most popular milling materials in the labs, 97% of the materials milled in labs are zirconia. So that's a pretty impressive number when you start thinking about um, how, much, uh, how much they're doing in, in their labs. It, it's, a, it's a very large part of those laboratories. So let's talk about why zirconia is so popular then. Your, your preps need less occlusal reduction, so that's a big thing for, for dentists. I will say that if you ask your laboratory what one of the biggest issues that they have with cases coming into their labs, the universal number that I tend to hear from their labs is about 70%, 70 percent, 70 percent of their doctors that submit cases under reduce their preps for the materials that are being asked for. So it's a, it's a major problem. And zirconia lets us sort of overcome that a lot by being able to be a very high strength ceramic or a high strength material that we can not be so aggressive or when, we, when we reduce materials. So you're using less axial reduction, so your margins can be thinner, so we don't have to use uh, big chamfer margins anymore. The flexural strength of these materials, there's a lot of different types of zirconia out there from the aesthetic zirconia to the higher strength zirconia that some of you are used to. And it depends and it ranges, but you're looking anywhere from 650 megapascals all the way up to 1100 megapascals and sometimes even more. So super strong crowns that we can use in our mouth, both now even in the anterior for some of the aesthetic zirconias and also in the posterior for the high strength zirconias that we have. Uh, very accurate marginal integrity. For those of you using zirconia, you know when you get those back how beautiful they fit. And there's been, uh, this. I was just looking through trying to find some good articles and back in the Journal of Prosthodontics uh, research in 2011, they talked about the marginal integrity that they measured was 44.2 microns. So very, very accurate uh, restorations that we're seeing that are being delivered to our practices. There is much improved anatomy in these restorations. They're milled restorations, so we're milling them in a milling unit, and zirconia, and we'll show you later, I got some blocks next to me here, and you'll be able to see during this presentation what, what these look like. The blocks are, are milled out about 23% bigger than when we put them in the mouth. So because they're so large and the burrs that we use, we can really get into that anatomy and the tiny little carbide burrs make beautiful anatomy on these restorations. So very improved uh, anatomy over some of the milled options that we have in the ceramics. Uh, they're very cost effective. The, the blocks themselves uh, on the chair side, they I've seen them as low as about $18 a block, which is pretty inexpensive. I've seen bridge blocks for under $40. So when you're talking about a three unit bridge that you wanna do chair side, um, relatively inexpensive. If you wanna send it to your lab and just mill and just scan your impressions and send it to a laboratory to let them do it, I mean, you see uh, options all the time at laboratories that we get in our dental magazines for $69, $79 a unit. And when you send them digital, you even get a discount because there's not a modeling fee for you. So very inexpensive to be able to do zirconia in our practice. 
And the big thing for a lot of doctors is you can cement it. I've been teaching CEREC for at least 14 years now. And one of the biggest problems that I tend to see over the years is just the struggle that dentists have uh, doing adhesive dentistry from time to time. And it really is, it can be a pain. So being able to conventionally cement these restorations with resin-modified glass ionomer is a big advantage for the general dental population because there's a lot less chance for uh, error and sensitivity and things like that. So uh, lots of reasons why zirconia has become so popular.